what you are going to see as a new feature in Joomla 3.2 is uh, this installer in the, inside, into the Joomla installer on the last step. Let me show it to you. We are going to go through the steps of the Joomla 3.2 installer. So I just keep my details and my database configuration. And there is a new message here. So uh, it says install sample data. Usually we click none if we don't want sample data. But here it says required for basic native multilingual site creation. What is the sense of not installing any sample data on, on that situation? Well, it's just because if we are going to install different languages, the feature is going to create uh, contents in different languages for your Joomla. So we need your Joomla completely empty before we are going to do that. I'm going to install. Okay. So now in the, I'm in the last step of the Joomla installation and maybe you haven't uh, noticed that you have this option. Since Joomla 3, there is a, a language installer in the same Joomla installer. This is a great uh, resource for, for people that are not English native speakers because uh, before when uh, you can install Joomla in your own languages, but uh, when you go to administrator, you click that button, by default you get your administrator in English. So if you are not skilled in English, you have to do some steps in English until you install your local language like French, Spanish, or other languages. So since Joomla 3, you don't need to do that because you have the extra steps and these extra steps, what it's doing now, it's retrieving all the languages in Joomla 3.1 app available from uh, the language server. Okay, I'm going to choose some languages, for example, the Catalan language, and I'm going to choose the Spanish. Notice that Joomla is one of the best CMSs in terms of internationalization. This is something that you cannot do in other CMSs. So, okay, I'm going to click Next, and what is going to happen now is that Joomla is going to automatically download from the web the two languages. So I'm going to have a total of three languages in my Joomla by default. The English, oh, there is, ah, we are doing some tests. So there are some issues, but we will fix it for the release. Uh, so we are going to have three languages, the Catalan, the English, and the Spanish. And I can check now that I want, for example, the Catalan language for my administrator by default. So I will not have to do any steps in English. But well, for this demonstration, I'm going to leave it the English and I'm going to switch my default site as the Catalan language. But the new feature, this was already in June 3, but the new feature is this one. I can activate the multilingual feature. So I'm going to click yes. And if I need to check uh, these three options. So activating multilingual means that it's going to activate the multilingual plugin uh, the flax module in front end and several other options that I had to do before by hand and this process was uh, really long and you need to do like many many steps so right now we are going to be able to do it in one click so basically this feature is a time saver well uh, I'm going to click yes here to install localized content what it's going to do, uh, Joomla, it's going to create uh, dummy content in my Joomla installation. So it's not going to create a cat, uh, an article in Catalan and an article in Spanish and an article in English. Well, yeah, it's going to do that, but the content is not going to be real. It's just going to be uh, demo content 
to make it easy for you to set the multilingual uh, entire site. So I'm going to click Next. And congratulations, my Joomla is now installed. And Joomla has set English as my language for administrator and Catalan for my site. So I'm going to go to administrator. And what you can see here is that now you have all the menus already created. The Catalan menu, the English and the Spanish. And if I click in the Catalan, I have the home button already created and localize it. And this is uh, linking to content. And the content is already created. As I told you, the content is not real content, so it's just Lauren Ipsum text. But it's localized. It's set it as the Catalan, this one, and it's linked to all the other languages. Also, the plugin uh, of multilingual is activated. So it's already activated with the right options. And the module of the flags is already published. Let me show it to you. You see all the flags are already there and if I switch to uh, English you will see that it's going to show the article in English or the one in the Spanish or the Catalan one. So this is basically the new feature uh, related to uh, native multilingual Joomla creation sites in just one click. That's all. I wish that you enjoy this feature.